Hi, my name is Michael Willems and once again I'm here to help you with your photography. Today a subject that there's a lot of information on but not much clarity and that is cleaning your sensor. Should you or should you not and if so how and why? So let's start with the beginning. Um, what is a sensor? The sensor is the thing at the back that takes the place of the negative, where the negative used to be. And the sensor makes your pictures what they are. It picks up the light. <clears throat> now, if any dust gets onto that sensor, that is not a good thing. And dust will get onto that sensor. Especially when you're using small apertures like f16 or f22, in other words, high f numbers, and you take a picture that has a clear background like the sky, you'll see grey dots, dust bunnies as we call them. They're really, really annoying because that dust interferes with your pictures. You can remove it digitally, but it takes time, a lot of time. So to stop that dust, first your camera tries to clean itself when you turn it on and off. It uh, ultrasonically vibrates the sensor and that sometimes gets rid of some of the dust but eventually dust will become visible in your pictures you'll see it in all your vacation pictures same part of the sky will have that black dot in it annoying to the max so then the next step is uh, open up your camera and you do that by using the function which a lot of SLRs have called manual cleaning now when you do that you need a new battery charged fully 100% because what happens is the mirror is held up by the battery and so you see the sensor and then you take a dust blower, a little bulb blower, one of those little ch -ch -ch blow thingies and hold the camera upside down and you blow air into the camera. Great, what if that doesn't do it either? Well then the best choice is to spend the 80 bucks and take your camera to a camera store or to its manufacturer, send it back to Canon or Nikon, have them clean it professionally. Because that way, if something goes wrong, it's their problem. And something could go wrong. You could damage the sensor or the shutter. If you damage either of those, your camera is toast. It is a brick. Uh, you cannot have it repaired because a new camera is cheaper. So be careful. But if you want to do it yourself, here's how you do it. You get a kit, and the kit looks something like this. This one is a full-frame sensor kit. The kit has to be for your size sensor. Why? Because it contains cleaning pads and these cleaning pads should be exactly the same as the sensor in your camera. Full frame or APS-C and make sure they match because otherwise you can't use the kit or it doesn't work. The kit also contains some special cleaning liquid, sensor cleaning liquid, uh, of which you put one or two drops onto the pad before you use it. Now again be careful because if you do this yourself and you screw up you've lost your camera. But if you are determined to do it yourself, as I do, then here's how you do it. So first you take a test picture with a small aperture like f16 or f22 at uh, maybe 400 ISO at perhaps one second exposure time. You want it to be not quite fully bright, a little bit less than fully bright. You focus the camera on the closest distance it can focus and then you take a picture of the ceiling or the wall and you move the camera a little bit so that you're not taking a picture of scratches on the wall. Now you'll see the dust bunnies. So then you do that cleaning thing, manual cleaning. You put a couple of drops of the liquid onto the pad. And with the wet side of the pad, you wipe across the sensor in the camera. And then the dry side, you wipe back. That should do it. But in practice, that often doesn't do it. So after that, take another picture the same way, highest F number you can, and you'll see that perhaps of the seven dust bunnies you had, uh, six are gone, but there's also three new ones. So then you do it again. All of them are gone, but there's two new ones and there's a streak. And you do it again, the streak is less, but the dust bunnies are still there. You do it again, dust is all gone, but the streak is worse again. Do it again, dust is gone. Eventually, you get to the point that the dust and the streak are both gone. Do not panic, don't worry about it. Yes, it can take an hour. Sometimes I've had 20 attempts until it's finally clean, but it will be clean. Again, the safest way is to send the camera to your camera manufacturer or camera store. But if you can't do that and you want to do it yourself, do it safely and do it well and check that you've done it well. And you'll have a camera that is once again as new and produces great pictures without that annoying dust in the sky. 
All right, that was it for today. If you want to know more, follow the links in the description. And if you want to know a lot more, take one of my courses online, interactively, fully interactive, one-on-one -on -one or small classes, or in the camera store when it opens in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Have a great day. Enjoy your photography.